What attracted you to a movie where you look at this script, you're the kid, you're, is it Mango? <laughs> Brett, no, no, yeah, Magno. Magno, yeah, that's his last okay, name, yeah. Magno, and you're in a car the whole time. What attracted you to this script? It was fun for, for me to want to be a part of something that it was it's something I'd never done before because every time I want to be a part of a project, it's always because it's different for me and it's a challenge and I could be somebody completely different. So obviously the opportunity to work with Ethan was fun as well. So. It's also something so simple about it. You know, that's what I love. You know, a good action movie has kind of a simple, whether it's Speed or Die Hard or whatever, there's just kind of a simple uh, through line to it. Mm -hmm. And um, that I liked it, you know. Um, and it also, a lot, we got to do a lot together, you know. I knew it would be very simple to do. It's like we got to actually uh, make the movie ourselves in this little tiny car. Yeah. You know, it's like we're... I don't know, fighter pilots or something. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, it is just the two of you. But at, mm -hmm. at first, your relationship is a, is a bit contentious, mm -hmm. right? So describe Certainly. that relationship when you first meet in that car. Well, the challenge of the movie is the movie almost happens in real time. You know, it happens over three or four hours or something. So for a relationship to develop of any substance over yeah. such a short period of time, you know, it's its own little, I mean, it's, a, it, it's its own odd, unique relationship. You know, it's not... Romantic, and it's not. We're not. I'm not playing your father. It's not. Y you know. It's. It's strange. Yeah, it is. It is. But it's it was a, great. It was. That's what made it. That's yeah. what was fun about it. It's, it's a different dynamic. And you got to be a little bratty, didn't you? <sighs> and and but I? smart. I mean, you were the smartass. Very smart, Alec. Yeah, yeah, I was for sure. It was good though. That was fun. I mean, I had to. Had he Courtney wanted me to go even more half the time because I would. I would dial it down a little bit. She, at the beginning, said a lot of other words over and over and over again so we kind of broke it up a little bit but I get her angst and why she's that way and you know her dad and the, the frustration of, of her wanting to be on her own and then having this happen to her so I get it I, I definitely get why she's that way what about working with Courtney because he seems kind of kind of a soft-spoken guy but he kind of always has done horror movies what was he like on the set it's not soft spoken. Not soft spoken. <laughs> yeah, that's. It was. I, I was interested to see that he came off that way. <laughs> uh, you know, this movie required an unbelievable uh, perseverance from the director and the crew. I mean, you know, for us in a way, it was extremely simple. We sat in this car and we did these scenes. Uh, it was pretty straightforward and easy. And the stunt team and how to mm. shoot these stunts. That was, they were there for months beyond what we were there yeah. uh, doing. And that the movie lives and dies really on, on their work in that way. I mean, we try to put some humanity into the movie. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think what they accomplished, it's like, the, it's tough to make an original good car chase in movies. There's been a lot of them. Um, and it's difficult to do well. But usually most movies have one good car chase. Yeah. Our whole movie is one good car chase. Yeah, it's and it a, never stops. It yeah. never stops. That's great. It's fun. That's, that's why we liked it. Yeah. So, yeah. so did you do some of your own driving? Tried to. Yeah. Tried to. Yeah. Um, they never let you do as much as you want. Right. And then the second they would let me do something, I would find myself a lot more than I thought <laughs> I would be. You know. Uh, it's one thing it, when you add in a camera. Element, the, this verbis because it's one thing to like for example that this one shot I had to do with your stunt double you know this was like a, a small man with this wig it was really embarrassing you know and but I'm driving through it, you weren't supposed to be there anyway you're supposed to be hiding from the gunshots I mean, I'm supposed to be driving through this tunnel uh -huh. and the motorcycles are all flying around you and all you have to do is just keep going 60 miles an hour or whatever which is kind of hard to do actually because you want to break because the motorcycles are cutting in front of you. But worse than that is the damn camera. You know, because the camera car is right in front of you. And if I wasn't close enough to the other car, that's the part you don't think. You think you're going to avoid the motorcycles. Yeah. But what's really hard is not to ram into the back of the camera or fall too far back. People I, th I would think it would be fun, but it's actually not fun. It's really stressful because there's a yeah. ton of camera guys and you're worried about them. You always end up, yep. you know, is that guy going to fall out of there? And, you're supposed to be in character. And See, it's worse than a love scene, huh? <laughs> it's I similar in that. <laughs>
Well, it's about time, right? Yeah. It's about time for those. Oh, but here's what's interesting. You've been making movies since you were, what, 15? Mm -hmm. You know, do you see anything about Selena that, that you know, just you kind of want I think to... she's going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like, you know. Uh, 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 already has, yeah. It's a very, um, that's a, a, one of the most interesting aspects of making this movie was, uh, the most interesting aspect of making this movie was meeting you and at this really interesting time in your life where, um, you know, though it's such a unique time for you, you know? And, um, and what is so exciting about Selena is her interest in so many things, an interest in learning and an interest in putting yourself out there. Because ultimately, if you don't put yourself out there, you're not going to experience anything. Mm -hmm. But this is a good time in his life, too. He's kind of on a roll again. I mean, you're, seriously, you've had a really good couple of years lately, just on the big screen. Yeah. I, 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 ran up to him. I ran up to him today. I was like, I saw The Purge twice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, absolutely. No, I, he doesn't realize it, but he always, when he speaks, it's, it's definitely, there's always words of wisdom that I take away. I have my first script the first draft of when we rehearsed and I would have Ethan, I'd put Ethan or I'd put John or I'd put Courtney and I'd write down all the notes and half the time I would just write quotes of what he'd say because he just naturally has that that knowledge that I've, I'm just kind of doughy-eyed. I know, it's good. But that is good. Yeah, it's nice, but it's not natural. It's, you know, the great thing about living is you get some experience mm -hmm. and you learn some things. You know, that's the, it's, uh, you know, nobody's, it's kind of like uh, you see these piano players or something. I'm going to make a weird analogy right now. Okay, but do it. Just go for it. And you think, I wish I could sit down and do that. Yeah. Like, no, the guy's actually practiced yeah. for probably 40,000 hours. He doesn't just sit down and do that. Yeah. You know, and the, the fun, there's a lot of downsides with getting older, but one of the best things about it is you have these experiences and you learn from them, and it's, uh, and it's fun, you know? And you, you just, you do, you just keep getting better. Oh, and you do too. This is great fun. So thank you so much.